because of the history of partition. I think uh, the Persian, Arabic, and other things, they just got relegated. And somehow, because of this insistence of the Muslims to treat them as their holy language, Urdu, just imagine, Urdu, just born in the brothels of Delhi, uh, that has become the holy language for the, right. <laughs> for the Ashraf, Mullah, Mawlana class. And they were the ones who actually imposed it to Pakistan that resulted in its Pakistan's VV section. Correct. And uh, they imposed it on Kashmir. You know, Kashmir mm -hmm. uh, done a survey. I don't know whether you read my book, Unbreaking India. Unbreaking India, uh, I still have to. Uh, yeah, so uh, they, uh, we found that uh, the number of people who spoke Urdu in Kashmir was less than 1%. Correct. <laughs> and about 60% people spoke either Kashmiri or Dogri. Dogri. And, and uh, another 20, 25% spoke Hindi. Yeah. Uh, and a fair amount spoke Punjabi. But then the language was Urdu, the lingua franca for the ruling like elite of Kashmir was exactly like the Pakistani elite was yeah. Urdu. So the Urdu's identification with the Muslim religion actually became its bane because it was completely given up by all other sections of uh, India. And it was, in fact, it's been given up by most Muslims as well. Uh, mm -hmm. People don't realize that. That's uh, only about 10% Muslims who probably know Urdu. Mm -hmm. yeah. I know better than them. I can read and write <laughs> Urdu better than most Muslims. Mm -hmm.